Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and create a form in Kartra and connect it to one of our pages. Now it is pretty self-explanatory and intuitive, but we'll walk through the process together so that way if you have any questions, you'll see how I do it and then you can compare it to how you do it and hopefully you can get your form up and running on Kartra. So we're in Kartra, we'll go to My Forms and I'm gonna hit this green button in the bottom right-hand corner that says Plus Form. I'm gonna call this Example Opt-in Form. Hit create. And now we simply walk through the process here. So we have our form, we got first name, email address. We could go ahead and add a new field if we want to. So let's say that I wanna go ahead and add last name. Placeholder last name, do I want this required or not? Let's go with required. And we can rearrange the order here. So I got first name required, last name required, email address required. You can see it with those stars right there, the asterisks. Let's add another new field. Maybe I also want the phone number of the individual. So let's scroll on down here, see if we got any phone number options. I know we do. All right, so phone without country code or phone with country code, we'll go without. Placeholder, phone number, we can do required, default country code, roll with the United States, hit add field. Pretty self-explanatory stuff here. And then let's go ahead and add a custom field just for examples purposes. So we'll do custom field. And let's say we want to know why are you contacting us? Why are you contacting us today? I can't add a question mark. But anyway, why are you contacting us today? Hopefully someday we can add question marks and things of that nature. Text input field, radio buttons, check boxes, drop down menu. We'll go with text input field, placeholder, Please let us know. Add a field. Oh, there we go. So right here is where I'd write my question. See, that's why it gives you a preview. Why are you contacting us today? And now I can add a question mark. There we go. Add a field. So why are you contacting us today? There we go. There's my form. It is beautiful. Let's hit confirm. And save and next. And so confirmation, do we want to do single opt-in, which basically they fill out the form and then they're brought to a success page, or double opt-in, where they fill out the form, they're sent an email, they have to click the email, or a link in the email to confirm their email address and that they want to receive contacts or information from you, emails from you. And then if they click that link, then they land on your success page. So there's reasons for single opt-in and double opt-in and so on. For the sake of this example, we're just going to roll a single opt-in, hit confirm. And then we have our success page. So where do we want people to land after they opt in? I'm just going to do a external URL for this example, but you could of course use a Kartra URL or whatever URL you want to use, but we'll roll with crazyimarketing.com. And we'll just go success because I know that that's my confirmation page. There we go. Save and next. So welcome, do you wanna send a welcome email? And this is up to you. Probably you don't, you probably send your welcome email through your autoresponder service, whether you're using Kartra or another messaging service. But if you wanted to, let's just hit change for example, send a welcome email, and we can enter this information here, hit confirm, and then we could go ahead and basically write our message here. I guess one of the good parts of doing it this way would be that you don't have to mess with an autoresponder tool if you don't want to. But again, you'll only send this one email, but maybe this would be good for you know a, a small business that's just getting customer information and you just wanna send a confirmation email and you don't wanna set up a whole sequence in order to deliver that confirmation email. So this would be perfect for that. So maybe there is some more practical application than what I had originally thought. Now, I'm not gonna mess with this right now, but you see that it is here. So if you do want to send an email straight out of the system here, you can, but we're not going to. So hit save and next. So automation, so if you wanna assign tags, subscribe to a list, subscribe to a sequence, advanced automations, bunch of cool stuff right here. If you are running sequences or anything like that within Kartra, you'd probably wanna do some stuff here. I'm not gonna to touch anything right now because I don't really need to for this demonstration. We're just setting up a form. So I'm just gonna do save and next. All right, so where are we planning to display this form? So in a Kartra page or on a Kartra video, 
or I'll embed the form on my website. So we're gonna actually do it on a Kartra Pager video, but it's pretty cool that it does give you the opportunity to embed it on another website. So that way, if you have a WordPress blog or something like that, and you're trying to grow your list of subscribers, you could go ahead and embed, you know, create a form here, customize the design of it, and embed it on your WordPress, WordPress, WordPress blog. There we go. But I'm doing Kartra Page, so I'll select that option. Hit confirm and save it next and congratulations our form is now available so now what we got to do is go to pages real quick and I'm gonna create a new page and I'm gonna find a squeeze page and I'm gonna select this first well I guess it's the second one but I'm gonna select the second one hit launch builder and I'll call it example opt-in opt-in page category no category create and so here we go we have a page with a form on it and you see it says edit to configure form and the placeholder in the background so we had to go ahead and basically connect our form to this uh, field right here so we'll click this pencil and now we'll select our opt-in form I got example opt-in form I'll hit apply and there we go, it's brought in my opt-in form here. You see my field, so I got my first name, my last name, my email address, my phone number, and then why are you contacting us today? And then the yes, tell me more. If we click on it, hit this pencil again. Now we could go ahead and actually kind of stylize our form if we want to. We could add some margin. We could adjust how the fields look. We could adjust our button and so on. So we could do a little bit more customization, make sure it matches our business's settings and things of that nature. And so if we hit publish live and we went over here and visited our page, we would see our form live in action. I could go ahead and hit yes, tell me more, or tell me how. And it should bring us to a success page. And hey, our form appears to be working. So awesome, good stuff. And that is how you create a form inside of Kartra.